What's up guys, welcome to another YouTube video and in this run we go absolutely bonkers. I'm on a three win streak with the Ironclad. I'm coming into this trepidatious to say the least. You can tell I have a lot of actual desperation even though it's only floor 142. I'm thinking well this is the end of the world. We, we need something. We need, you know, every floor is important and it is. The early game is super important. Let's not get on a tangent. This run ended up being insane. We took a lot of risks, semi-risk. We call them future proof, future proof cards. I took a couple of those with good reason, and it all paid off. Hope you guys enjoy. Drop a like if you do, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace. I hope my mods, everything should be working. All right, so we got gold. Doing pretty good. Doing pretty good. Woke up pretty early today. One of the earliest days I woke up. All right. We have a... Uh, Slap in some gold. Oh boy. Oh boy. I'm liking the gold into this path. I'm liking that gold a lot. I can't get three elites this act. I'm liking the gold a lot. I'm liking the gold a lot. Ironclad speed runs. Maybe after I do a, a series of slow runs like this and see see how I do, you know. Kind of enjoying the slow runs right now. Um, the speed runs are. This is called info mod. This is info mod. It's not on the workshop yet. Let's go. Congrats, T Peaks. You're a fast learner, dude. You're a fast learner. That's nice. Cause you just started the game like I don't know, like last month, no? That's your first time. Hey, Sour Shark, thanks for 100 bits. Skip class, get clash, and open the ass. <laughs> get clash to open up that ass. There we go. Floor one, here are the options. What's up, Lord Mock? <laughs> okay. <gasps> you look like a skip. It feels bad, but it looks like a skip, huh? That's ominous. Skipping cars, floor one. What do you feel about a speculative armaments? I don't really like it. I think speculative armaments is like... It's not very good. Headbutt is 9 damage, simply. For that, for right now, for all, for its purpose right now. I don't know. Headbutt's not something I would usually take early here. Both kind of speculative. Yeah, I mean, Headbutt has played later on, but I feel like I could skip here and be okay. We have two car rewards, and we have a shop and an event. Because I want to hit a shop. You can even go car reward here, potentially. Headbutt is still more damage than a strike, and it's it's still a decent upgrade. I mean, if I had if nothing else, if I get even nothing, if I get nothing but mech cards, headbutt's 12 damage. 
12 damage, you have one, but it's 18 damage. It's pretty good. If I upgrade it, but then you don't want to upgrade a headbutt. I mean, that's truly desperation. That's truly desperation. And I don't want to say that we're desperate on floor one already, right? There's no way. But if you act with desperation on floor one, then, then you play in a way that, like, when you're not desperate, when things are going well, it's because you were so desperate on the first seven floors, right? But we are, we're getting increasingly more desperate. So by skipping that headbutt, what I'm saying to myself is now, okay, I skipped that card. And now I'm getting increasingly more desperate for any attack, for any damage. That's a concession I was willing to make. Because I have some gold to, to back me up. And this happens a lot in Ironclad where you get a little desperate on the first couple floors. I mean, it's scary. You don't know what you're going to get. And Perfected Strike comes. <laughs> Boom. Who's desperate? Not me. My dog's up to no good. Perfect strike gamer, let's go. I was a, that was a little bit smorky. I should have maybe thought about double blocking. My bad. I uh, I rushed that turn. Oh, smoke bomb is a horrible potion. Oh god, we're we're back to being. We're back to being desperate. Perfected strike number two. Who's desperate? Huh? No, we're rolling in the offense. Okay. But we also have ghostly armor. The block. You know, a balanced lifestyle. Perfected strike is good, guys. We've, sh we we've mastered the art of perfected strike somewhat, right? We've shown that... Keep all strikes, take perfected strike, build a deck that beats the heart, even if you didn't think it could. Tori, sorry, Penib, Barricade, Orrery, Second Wind, Helix, oh my god, this store has everything. The Barricade Second Winds, which is very early, but future-proof to the wazoo. Um, Orrery, Pendip, Helix. Helix is too expensive, we're not buying Helix, unfortunately. It solves Grumman Up Fight a little bit, it solves the Slime Boss Fight. Helix is a nice relic to have, don't get me wrong. But for 322... Yeah, the Coven Car Achievement. Guys, you guys mull over the shop. There's a lot to think about. Give me five minutes. Um, no, you can future proof. <laughs> like, no, no, no. It's probably. So, in a deck that has perfected strike and, a, and, a, and an act that has slime boss, and, and, you know, Helix is going to save a lot of life sometimes. Well, it's less going to save life in Act 1, but we'll start saving more and more life as we go on in the runs. And not to mention the slam boss, right? But it's competing with Ori. I gotta walk Isaac real quick. Um, I'll be, I'll be back like in five minutes. Okay, uh, this is still tough, guys. This is still really tough. Perfect strike takes skill, uh, guys. I played the game for 2,000 hours, and it was in the 2,000 hour range, maybe even closer to 3,000. Uh, that to, to, to maneuver a Perfected Strike deck in Ascension 20 is, is not easy. Yeah, this is tough. Because you can just buy Helix and say, okay, I have two Perfected Strikes. I do Perfected Strikes. I'm, I'm less desperate now. I found damage. I found damage. I have Perfected Strike. I have upgrades. I upgrade my Perfected Strike. I have damage. Helix is something that's going to be beneficial throughout the whole run. Then there's cards like Brutality. And uh, then there's cards like Offering and Bloodletting. Orrery Act 1 is less good. 
Because Ori in Act 1, you can't get any upgraded cards. So no upgraded cards from Ori. But it helps flesh out the deck early. The deck, how much fleshing out does it really need? I mean, I had two perfected strikes. That perfected strike is a very hard committing kind of thing. When you have two perfected strikes, when you take the second perfected strike, instead of the ghostly armor like I just did, which was a mistake, I think, looking back on it, I was memeing with you guys. It's the first one of the day, and I was like, yeah, second perfected strike. But looking back on it, I kind of hard committed there by taking the second one. Because ghostly armor was a perfectly good uh, neutral card to take for block to balance out the deck. So not fully committed to perfect strike, but yet I took the second one and now we're fully committed. So now since we're committed, it's like, okay. Ori. Uh, let's think here. <sighs> Helix is really good for slime boss as well. All right, take a pommel strike, perhaps, and evolve. Maybe evolve is huge. Another pommel strike here. Do you think about uppercut? Uppercut for weekend. Are we gonna want it? Shrug it off here or no? Do we want shrugs? Do we want the shrugs? Probably want the shrugs, right? We talked about shrugs before. Wing boots. Have I taken too much damage for the sparkle? Have I taken too much damage for the sparkle? I don't think so. I can get uh, elite campfire, elite, elite. So I can spend two charges here. Or I can save some for the future. Boom! All right. Max HP, okay. Now, if we're lucky, I can do Perfect Strike Evolve and hit the other Perfect Strike. However, if I want to maximize damage, I Strike Strike Evolve. Well, not as legit as you think. Well, Evolve is good. The problem is, both my damage is all in the same turn. So, I can go Perfect Strike Evolve and try to get lucky. One out of three. Or I can just do Strike Strike Evolve and get six extra damage. Beautiful morning. Lots of damage. I think we go for the 33% chance. Because 6 damage... Okay, wait, how much is 6 damage doing for us? If we do an extra 6 damage... Let's take a look at what that actually means. That means that these guys are in 1 strike range of dying. If I do a perfect strike strike... A perfect strike strike, right? Instead of doing the second strike... They are not in 1 range of dying. Because right now this is going to be doing 45, right? 45 is perfect range for all these to die to one strike, one strike only. Instead, I'm doing 39, which makes them two strike range. So maybe it's a strike strike revolve is better. Pick up 
Because I, my probability of being a palm strike or a strike is very high. The infected evolve is better. You think it's better to kill one? But why? If we kill one, we get less days, right? But I have evolved, so why do the days matter? Whereas if I do the strike, strike, evolve, one strike definitely kills one of them. And that, that, means, that means I block more next turn. I block more next turn. So because if all I have to worry about is one strike, then I can spend two energy on blocking. But if I do it this way, if I do it this way, I can kill it. And then I have all the energy to do whatever the hell I want. Because there's only one, one guy attacking me, right? There's a slight chance that it doesn't work out and then I have to spend more money attacking. Spend more energy, rather. Uh, I'm going to do this. Maybe we can draw Cinder's Bane out. How much do I really want to shrug it off here? I wonder if it's better to, uh, to strike here and take the two hits here. Yeah, so we're talking about it's a guaranteed perfected, and my 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 reasoning was that that is better because I get six extra damage guaranteed, as opposed to doing a kill immediately. But there's a chance where I don't get six extra damage, and then I therefore I have to block or do do more attacks. So I can leave this guy within range of perfected, which is not quite there yet. So that guy's in range. Taking some damage here. Before a sparkle sentry with no AoE? I mean, okay, whatever. It could be worse. He's perfect. Perfect strike range. Perfect. Perfect strike. Look at that. One perfect strike is over. Regal pillow. Emerald key, power pot. Power pot's good. Boom! Another power, a mummified hand, the feel no pain, the future proof, the second win, the game's over. Not quite. But I'm just saying, the mummified hand is a little bit better. Oh boy. With with mummified hand, feel no pain is a perfect future proof card for me. I mean, I love Feel No Pain. It's a future-proof card. It goes with the Evolve. The second win is the power throughs we want to pick up. Alright, so now we make a decision. Do we want to... Uh, take an extra upgrade here and an extra Elite? So, Act 1 Elites are better than Act 2 Elites. We can argue that. I've been struggling with YouTube channels recently because yesterday's run, yesterday's run, guys, I had um, uh, the um, ultimate exhaust synergies, Sharon's ashes, exhausting everything, second winds, power through, barricade, doing all these crazy things, and then we had like seven curses. All right, I think a uh, Lagavulin can do a little bit of damage to us. By the way, Lagavulin is, I do good damage, but with bad draws, Lagavulin can hurt us. So that's not free, completely free. Lagavulin is not completely free. I would say Gremlin Ob is easier for sure. Um, but you know, depending on the rotation, if I get both perfected strikes on the first turn or on the same turn, you know, you can start seeing that I'm taking damage on a full cycle, on one full cycle. If these are separated on the cycle, then for sure I can kill anything. Especially if Bash is played first. On a perfect cycle, Bash, perfected strike, and then again, you know, but... So what I'm saying is that... If we want to do two elites, what we could do is uh, 
We could rest it into two elites, but... I mean, that seems fine for me. I mean, I also, of course, want to upgrade Pommel Strikes and maybe upgrade, um... Yeah, I mean, Pommel Strike looks like the upgrade for me. Bash Vulnerable Uptime is nice, but I, I, it's a two cost that's competing with Perfected Strike. Um, okay. So, are we, are we, do we want to utilize... So, I can do Hallway Fights and get Burning Blood. But do we want to utilize two charges of this or save it for Act 2 and Act 3? Because, you know, Act 2 we might have a bad path. We might want to maximize there. Act 3 we might want to maximize there. Or do we argue that Wing Boots use it early, use it fast, and maximize Act 1 elites, which are the easiest? But here's what I'm doing. I'm... I'm using two charges for one elite. Because I'm going to get one elite anyways. So I'm using two, not, not just for two charges. I'm using two charges for an arrest in an elite or an upgrade in an elite. If I want to get two elites. I'm using two charges for this. Just for this little this little square. Now what's the expected value of two charges? Okay. We rest and then we get it uh, up here. So I think we gotta get powers out first. I got bash. Okay. Flexion right here would be nice. That's nice. I'm not using power pie here. So the odds of hitting perfect strike is higher, right? Okay. Took some damage there. That's fine. Toxic egg. Fire breathing. The hell is this? You mean to tell me with mummified hands, fire breathing is AoE now? For the slime boss. Or is that a power that is convoluted? Well, think about it. It's also energy. Because Perfected Strike is costly. Two energy. More than one. Fire breathing. You play it. Maybe it makes Perfected Strike free. However, now we're looking at Evolve. You're only paying fire breathing. And I would say... Also, I could have taken less damage in that fight. I think if I had full blocks in the other turn, I made a mistake. If I full blocked on that last turn where I took the damage, for sure Perfect Strike would have been redrawn and I would have had the kill. So I played that fight too fast and I took extra damage. I don't think it's going to matter, but I do got to slow down. Yeah, I was going for lethal. But I could have saved more life on that last fight. I, so I had, there was two perfect strikes in the hand, and it had 50% chance to hit one of them, so I went for lethal. But, uh, you know, I could have played it safe and just t taken less damage. Okay. Um... Toxic is very good. Yeah, Toxic is very good. A little bit interesting because we have perfected strikes, so we're gonna, you know, I guess... We'll see what skills we'd be adding. But perfect, yeah, I mean, Toxic Egg is fantastic, for sure. We'll see what skills we'd be adding. This is interesting. Um, and this solves the, the slime boss, but the slime boss is already solved. Now, the problem with Reckless Charger, which is often a problem that people maybe run into, is that once Feel No Pain and Evolve are in play, Reckless Charge feels okay, right? Here's the problem. You draw a reckless charge before Funeral Pain or Evolve, and suddenly it doesn't feel as okay. And it's, it's backwards. It's like... If you're going to take a card that once Funeral Pain and Evolve are in play, I think your, 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 your thinking should be... 
more block oriented than it is for attack oriented because I mean let's, let's think about it though for regular charge in a hallway fight seven damage for zero cost can accelerate a hallway fight let's think about this actually we have mummified hands mummified hands likes zero cost cards mummified hands says if you have a zero cost card I do not target you I target something else maybe perfect a strike so reckless charge seven damage mummified hand it's not the worst thing in the world and yes, we have two powers that can make this become a boon. Right? So you're not wrong, actually. Sneko Y makes it worse. So if Sneko Y is a, something we're pivoted into, which seems okay right now, it's also pretty bad. Sorry to hear that, Elo. Yeah, so I think regular charge, I don't know, in theory it makes a lot of sense, right? Some synergies, but I feel... I mean, okay. Mumpet hands, zero cost, seven damage. It's probably better than Clash. You know, it is better than Clash. <laughs> I can say that much. It's competing against fire breathing. Now this could be Super Century again, so fire breathing would not be bad. Um, fire breathing is also decent in chosen plus one, but we also have perfected strikes. So we gotta think about this. Like, why would I want to take all these powers that are actually not that good? So, like, I think in Act and Beyond, fire breathing loses a lot of value. Like, we don't really care about fire breathing later on. Sure, it still does energy stuff, which is always nice. And it gets punished in the Awakened One fight way down the line. But before that, it doesn't get punished too hard because of Mummified Hands. Fire breathing has fights that it, 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 it pops off in, but Perfection Strike, I'm taking it to the heart, I'm, I'm taking it all the way to the grave. I mean, I think Perfection Strike, the way we've been playing it is that uh, this is our damage. This is our damage source, this is our, our engine here. We're going to meta scale Perfection Strikes, and we're going to smack things hard, and we're going to have a way to solve block, or if we can't solve block, we solve HP. We find a resource or something to, to get through fights before we die, which is... Main, mainly the heart, you have to just get through those turns, which we're really far off now. But I guess we can talk about like different acts and why fire breathing might be good. Um, I think what's important that is mummified hand makes fire breathing always feel okay, because when I play it, it's giving me something else for free. So that makes fire breathing relatively neutral, a relatively safe pick, mainly because of this. More gold. So this is awkward because I can't get guaranteed uh, perfected here. Oh, but it worked out. I could probably, I could probably full block this this fight. This is going to help accelerate things, but I could most likely full block because the, the two powers I got are the fight's over. Fight's over. Fight is over. Took more damage than I wanted to take, though. Is that fine, Wex? I took more damage than I wanted to take. It's okay, though. Uh, man, they're giving us all the powers, man. All the super heavy, late game, future proof, booty smacking powers. 
Man, the dark embrace, the feel no pain. The things that solve the game. Hmm. I mean, Dark Embrace is huge. It's an incredible power. But how many powers am I going to add in my deck? I need more coffee for this. I like Dark Embrace in theory, right? But we're not in a place where we can even utilize Dark Embrace. We're not in a place. You know, we don't exhaust anything. Um, that's very much future proof. Future proof for cards that we're going to want to be taking. We're going to be taking every second wind and every power through we see. Um, so that's just like a future proof. And we got to ask ourselves if that is something we want to add into the deck. Moment Fed Hand makes it less detrimental. Nah, no spot weakness for us. No spot weakness for us here. We're in perfected strike territory. Spot weakness is just. A card I'm not going to play, most likely. Yeah. Hindsight, yes. Okay, so... What do you guys think about... Uh, a second Funeral Pain is interesting as well. I mean, Funeral Pain is a one-cost power with Muffet Hand, and it's like... Funeral Pain can get bonkers but again we don't really exhaust anything it's kind of future proofing stuff that we don't currently have for a side right now our damage is chonkers and also aoe fire breathing nah it's not skippy to do that i don't think i don't think it's not skippy to do that oh so speak spot weakness is interesting because of uh if we had energy, if we had four energy, spot weakness is, is playable on, on the turn you have it. You, you get it, you play it. And, you know, four strength is a lot of strength for the rest of the fight. And that's one and done kind of thing. But, um... It's a curse in this landbots fight as well. The first three turns, I, I'm not likely to get it on the turn I want it, you know. I kind of want to feature proof Dark Embrace, but I'm scared. I take this Dark Embrace and, um... I should take this Dark Embrace and I get punished really hard. I get punished super hard. Matter of fact, if I take the Dark Embrace, I almost want to upgrade it. I almost want to upgrade it because just to... But then if Sneckle Y exists, then I don't know. Yeah, I'm scared I'm going to get punished really hard. I'm playing really scared right now. I'm like terrified. I don't know why. I'm terrified of adding the Dark Embrace even though I've added it with worse decks in without Muff at hand I've added without Muff at hand in worse decks and I'm scared of it here for some reason because I, I guess I don't, know, I don't know how much I can rely on Perfected Strike to kind of smooth over Act 2 right because Act 2 is still can pose a lot of uh, formidable threats and on top of that I mean Dark Embrace is actually doing nothing it draws one card with Ascender's Bane Yeah, we have Feeling Pain and Fire Breathing, no status generation, no fire, no, exactly. And now I'm adding a Dark Embrace? However, if I add the Dark Embrace and then, you know, Muffet Hand kind of smoothing it over, Regal Pillar also just to catch her fall, if anything. And then we get the cards we're looking for, like the Power Throughs and the Second Winds and all that stuff. Well, then the deck's done. The deck's already done. They blow our draws without actually doing anything, exactly. Yeah, so I'm hesitating because, you know, I've already kind of made some speculative moves anyways. I don't know, I've, like, Funeral Pain and Evolve, they solve the, the slam boss, but they're, they're, they're speculative in all the other hallway fights. You know, I already have almost three powers that are doing what Dark Embrace is doing, which is just... Yeah, I don't know, guys. I think we don't do Dark Embrace here. How's it going? Good, Upshot, dude. How you doing? However, our second Funeral Pain feels a little bit safer because of the immediate energy cost, and Funeral Pain gives us block, which is something that you can... Oh, this is tough, guys. This is tough. If we take all these powers and a weakened one shows up, will we be okay? 
we already know that Dragon Brace is a super high value power for late game. Don't be scared, Jeremy. Don't be scared. Alrighty. Act 2 is going to kick my ass. I'm ready for it. Alright. Upgrade. So this fight is pretty much solved with Fire Breathing Evolve. Perfect Strike to Chonk. I mean, we have Game Leadership to get our powers out. We need Energy Relics. We need Sneko Eye. We need something. The deck is very quickly getting above the curve and destroying the curve. I mean... Depending on the boss relics we get here and the card, the, the rare card we get, we're, we're very soon approaching this like a win. So I don't know. We got definitely have to um, consider. So I think about Bash, right? Bash is uh, three turns of vulnerable. That's nice. But it falls off in Act 2. In Act 2, when I'm competing with Perfected Strike Bash, I'm almost always picking Perfected Strike. So because of Act 2, I don't like the Bash upgrade here. We also have a Fear Pot if necessary. I like Palmer Strike more because Palmer Strike is, uh, you know, gives me card draw. Um, another consideration is Fire Breathing, maximizing our powers. So Fire Breathing, if we're going to have it in our deck, at least make it more meaningful. But um, You know, again, we talked about it. We don't really have anything to operate off Fire Breathing off except for the, the fights that it excels on. So this feels kind of eh. Funeral Pain, Future Proofing, Upgrade the, that, but that, again, that's kind of stupid. I think Palmer Strike we're using it almost all the time. It makes a lot of sense to upgrade it. The other thing is Upgrade Dark Embrace. Now, if I upgrade Dark Embrace, it's basically saying it feels less bad to have this power in a world where I don't have Snack Away. Because it's one energy to get the Mumford Hand value. Um, whereas if I have Snack Away, well, this is a stupid upgrade. So I don't know how much we're pivoting to Snack Away, how much we're waiting here. Should I make an upgrade that is more neutral? Before I commit to something like this, that doesn't do anything for the deck. I think we could. I think we do a neutral upgrade. I think we do a neutral upgrade. I've had like some. I guess because I haven't been working out, my posture's been bad. I have like some bad anterior pelvic tilt. So I spent like all last night just trying to like do some stretches and some stuff to help my my pelvic tilt. I want to make sure to try sleeping on in a specific way so I can try to help that. It's not like super bad, but it's like, for sure, my hip flexors are really tight. And I'm going to start going to the gym again, because uh, I think it would do me some good. You probably were memeing, but no, for real, exercise is something I've been uh, trying to get back on. Because I went, I went and I used to work out, I was definitely feeling a lot more balanced. Alright, anyways. Are we okay with our 31 life? Yeah, for sure, for sure, for sure. Okay. Let's go. We gotta evolve. Do we use Fearbot in this fight? Do we want to use any potions in this fight? 40% chance. If someone said 40% chance were potion, you would be like, I'm gonna hold on to my potions, right? Why am I playing so scared? I'm like on a three win streak and I'm playing scared, but you can't play scared in this game. Whoa. Whoa, ho, ho. whoa, Mag Daddy. Surely my odds are good, huh? Surely my odds are good. Play Evolve and we should be good, huh? With Fear Pot, is it lethal? No, I mean, with Fear Pot, it's like... It's even more than 50% chance. It's, uh... There's two out of three as... Yeah, two out of three. But... I mean, I'm arguing that Fire Breathing Evolve solves this fight. And I'm right about that. First, we gotta get there first. <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait, 
Wait a minute, we gotta get there first. Uh, how much how much weight am I putting on fire breathing here? A lot? A lot of weight? Dark Embrace? How much weight are we putting here? No potions. No potions. Just fire breathing. And evolve. Yeah, buddy. That's what, that's what we're talking about. That's what, that's what I'm talking about. Yes. That's exactly what I'm talking about. What? Oh my god, what happened here? Madman. I can draw first and try to hit a slime. Yeah. It's too easy. Oh man. Oh man, it's too brutal. Don't give me a potion. Don't give me a potion. Son of gun. Okay, 40% chance was a low chance. We didn't need the potion. However, I will say that Power Pot is probably better than Fear Pot because we have modified hand. However, with Perfected Strike in the deck, Fear Pot is pretty valuable as well. Perfected Strike, Fear Pot is a smacker. You know, we can't play all the time, you know that, right? We have designated play time and we have designated rest time. When daddy is over here talking to himself like a crazy man, like you always see with the light on and crazy men talk, that's rest time. I played with you all morning with the ball. We had a lot of exercise. I took you, went to the bathroom. So you can't always play all the time, all right? So we got to make sure that you understand there's play time and rest time. Right now is rest time. What's on you right now? Come on, don't use that. Oh yeah, my dog is frozen. My dog's on a lap right now. I'll fix it in a sec. All right, so Fear Pot versus Power Pot. I feel like Fear Pot is probably a little bit better, but again, we have Mom had a hand, so I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if that's still tr how true is that really. How true is that really? Whoa, Barricade, another super Omega power. All the powers that do all the things for late game. Oh, I see, Doctor. Well, it was basically we played our powers and then Fire Breathing won the game. Uh, Reaper, Bludgeon, Barricade. Well. Get all these powers. I mean, Bar <laughs> we've done this yesterday. We take Barricade, we take all the powers. We have Mumford Hand to help us out. We uh, we don't have max HP this time around, but then once you get set up, it's game over, you know? We don't really get that much out of Barricade in this deck. I mean, I would say Reaper Reaper just gives us is a decent card because it's uh, some sustain. And I think sustain and Reaper is, even though I don't have Vajra or I don't have like Bag of Marbles or... It, sometimes this just gives me block with feel no pain. Sometimes it gives me do draw with dark embrace. However, barricades another block card. Sorry, another power that you can chain powers and you can just play all the powers and now you have barricade in play. Barricade is another future proof card that we take and. Uh, it starts to pop off once we get like one second, one, one, one funeral pain.
Uh, this game's hard, man. It's a hard game. This is a hard game. We break us some sustain and it gives us a little bit of AoE. A Reaper in a non strength deck doesn't feel that great though. But in some fights, it can give us up to 12 max HP. Other fights, it probably gives us 6 or 4. Sorry, 6 or 4 healing. Uh, bludgeon, because we have powers and we, play, we have Bludgeon to go with the fact that Muffet Hand can make it free. It's not Bludgeon, no. There's some times where Bludgeon is reduced to 0, which would feel like a good turn. But I'd rather do the same concept with Perfected Strike and not have a Bludgeon. Um, yeah, so my Perfect Strike already is a bludgeon. Perfect Strike is actually doing 33 at the moment, so. Exactly. Again, I'm in that territory where, like, Barricade is very close to, to being nuts. And we're in this territory where it's like, how much am I going to commit to these what-ifs, these speculative future-proof cards? Do I just grab my balls and go f head first, f foolishly? But then get rewarded. I, I mean, I don't know how punished do we get. I guess. I guess. I, I know this is this this is a really tense game because there's so many powers that are obviously really good, but it's not quite there yet. Yeah, exactly. I I, I agree. Blem, I agree. I'm I'm literally one card away. I, I'm one second win, one power through from just being like, boom, game's over. Guys, what did I do? Oh my god, actually going to be a pain in the ass. Or is it? I'm good, Pizza. How you doing? Oh my god, what did I just do? All right, I'll tell you what, though. With Toxic Egg, we're looking for a few select powers, and I promise we can win this. But boy, oh boy, this is crazy. Now, nah, we definitely need, like, some, some stuff. Okay, so... The hallway fights, am I disrespecting them? I don't know. Power Pot versus Fear Pot, guys. Fear Pot is Perfected Strike Enabler. Power Pot is Mummified Hand Enabler. What are we thinking here? Power Pot's better for the elite fights, for sure. More is it? Fear Pot is, is better for uh, single target fights like Book of Stabbing. It's better for... I'm gonna, do, I'm gonna keep the Fear Pot here. Is that what I think it is? Is that what I think it is? Oh boy. Oh god, it's the Sneko, the Gamba chip. Oh god. Yeah, Fear Pot's a lot of damage. Let's go. A lot of gold. A lot of powers. Do you want to hit this shop? And how many leads are we doing here? How many leads? There's four leads. Wait, what? One, two, three, four. No campfires. This is the Chad route. Like, I'm, I'm an Iron Chad. This is Giga Chad route right here. What the hell? Giga Chad right there. Insane. So we want to hit a shot. We have a lot of gold right now. I can go to this elite and go to the left and go sh all the elites, but I don't have Emily, guys. I don't have Emily. I don't like my AOE is still kind of scary, but you know we have perfected strike to single target the slavers out. That can solve the game depending on if we get more perfected strikes here. Um. I have an idea. I go here. Can I highlight this? Look, one, two, three. Go up here. This shop. And then go boom. Charge. Boom, boom, boom. Three elites. End of act. Three elites. End of act. Tell me that doesn't look amazing. Boom, 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 boom. Get a lot of card choices. Go to this shop. The mid shop. Get another campfire. And then elite, elite, elite. Is that not amazing? We get a shop. We get two campfires. And three elites. Bro. 
That's amazing. Okay. You know, I'm trying to think that, um... Regal Pillow might be useful. Okay. Oh my god. You mean to tell me we have second wind? Disarm plus and Ghost Hammer? Okay, Ghost Hammer, forget that one. Second wind plus, disarm plus. We know second wind is a damn dozy. I mean, if I don't take this, I'm sh I'm tripping. Oh my god, we're about to win the game. I can feel it. It's already over. <laughs> oh boy. Let's do it. Barricade? 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 Oh, imagine. Barricade already. And it's already 40 block. Gee, okay, let's not get overconfident. Sorry, guys. I'm getting crazy. Overconfidence is becoming me. How can I not be overconfident? Look at this. I got three powers, 40 block, and 45 damage on turn one. All right, reel it in, reel it in, reel it in. Reel it in. Reel it in. Okay. Whew. Uh, these cards would be cute if I didn't have Snake Away. Like, Havoc Plus, Warcry Plus. It'd be kind of cute if I didn't have Snake Away. Warcry Plus with, like, Snake Away, it feels a little bit worse. Um, yeah, it, it looks like a skip to me. I mean, why do you guys like Warcry? For what? The, the ability to perhaps put something on the top. With Dark Embrace, it, you know what it does? It laughs at you. If I was Shipper, my name would be Artifact Charge. I'm skipping these, guys. Unless you guys can make a very reasonable argument about Warcry here in the world with Snekawai, I'm skipping this. I see no reason. The reason is that, okay, sometimes we feel no pain in Dark Embrace, Warcry is, is giving us block, is giving us draw. One second. Who is it? Where's that box? Oh god. Don't do it to me. Oh, I thought they were gonna give me... That's still good. I thought they were gonna give me, uh... The nuts. I was ready for the nuts. Huh. <laughs> Bludgeon. Let's go! Let's go! Get eight. Okay. I like seeing red. I know Snickle Eye exists. So seeing red is positive half the time. Plus with Dark Embrace Funeral Pain. The fact that it can be two costs and three costs is pretty bad, huh? But we can second wind it as well. It's positive at zero, one. 
And at two, it could be exhaust stuff. This fight is one of the ones that challenges us to an extent. I should probably play power through. Oh god, Snake Eyes hurting me right now. Not anymore. Not anymore, baby. I should probably just do Perfect Strike though in the future. Just saying. I think it was actually a really good power, sorry, a really good potion that I wasted on that, but yeah, I mean, that's probably a, a wasted potion in some regards. Perfect strike, I, I'm scaling it while I'm in the fight. Potion. Boom. Rewarded. Now we already have second wind. So why not add another feel no pain? Thoughts? I mean, we have Sneko for card draw. We have Mom at hand. Things are just rolling. Sure, we could add another feel no pain, right? Surely. Okay, no, keep in mind, Snake Eye exists, guys, so it's not always for free. Now, question Campfire or Elite? Campfire or Elite? My goal was to go for Campfire, get some upgrades, then a shop, then go for three Elites. With this path, I can go for four Elites. What upgrade do I want? If we're talking about upgrades, what upgrade do we want? Hmm. Feel Pain is a good upgrade. Palmer Strike is always a decent upgrade. But with Snake Eye, it's starting to become a little bit awkward. Palmer Strike. Um. I don't. I'm not seeing the upgrades. Let's go. Yeah, okay, Barricade's seeing red. Okay, Perfected Strike. Let's play these cards. Let's play these cards. Let's play these cards. Let's play these cards. Oh my lord. I should probably bash him. I should probably bash him. This fight's not 100% free though. It's a waste of energy. Fiendfire is pretty good. Fiendfire is pretty good here. What's up, Phil Center? Bluffer Bud is also damaged. Uh, Fiendfire is pretty good, though. And I should probably be bashing the elite here. Also, I wasted a lot of energy. Eh, it's not really my fault, though. I just want to kill the minion so I can have a little bit more time to set up because uh, I don't have AoE. Fire has some good targets. Actually, Fire is horrible because of Perfected Strike. Fire Breathing can be lethal, actually, with uh. Do I have power through? I don't have power through, but no rise exists. No Rees, rather. Oh god. Oh my god. Oh wow. Ha <laughs> ha. Entrench? Okay. My lord. <sighs> wow, we're high rolling, man.
I could. I could theoretically take Body Slam. This might be a deck that gets a lot of block. I can take Body Slam now. But I don't have the fuel, no, I don't have the power through yet. But we have Nuri's. And Nuri's is saying, I'm power through sometimes. I'm impervious sometimes. Right? So my block game is, is RNG that I can't account for. Plus on top of the fact that I have second win Fuel No Pain to begin with, which is a decent block game. But my skills only last so long. Um, burning Packs. Card draw. Now, what are my Burning Pack targets? Burning Pack targets are things that cost too much. But of course, it makes strikes worse. Uh, it makes perfect strike worse. But still, there might be moments where I, you know, Burning Pack to defend. Defends are all Burning Pack uh, targets. And kind of keep... The, the, the ball rolling. So I don't mind Burning Pack either. <laughs> Big shop. Would you add another second wind here? I'm thinking Toolback second wind. But how many second winds should one man add in a world where I barely have any skills? Bag of Marbles, Toolbox. Another second wind. Hell, I can take a Fruit Juice if you really want to go down that route. What does this deck need? It needs Max HP, so Fruit Juice is a thing. Fruit Juice is expensive, but it's something. I think Second Wind is so po powerful. The second Second Wind... ...is huge. Thread Needle is expensive. Yeah, Thread Needle is too expensive, guys. I don't know. 315 for 4-plated armor. This is one of those relics that is great to have, but to buy, it doesn't feel great. I mean, surely we can agree on that, right? And Toolbox is something I want as well. Toolbox is, uh, is great. Marbles is not bad either. Marbles, turn one, we, have, we draw a Gambit Chip, turn one. Um, with Snack away. I mean, Mega Marbles can kill things immediately. If I were to remove a Moving Defend. But even then, Moving Defend is bad because Second Wind manages the Defend. This is one of those times where I'm not going to remove anything, guys. And this is the beauty of Perfected Strike Runs that people don't talk about, maybe they do. You save a lot of money on removes. Plus, Snekowai exists. Removal is less important. Second Wind will... So, Snekowai exists, so removal is less important. And then Second Wind gets rid of a lot of skills in the, you know, in the fight and only keep the, the stuff that you really care about. One thing to mention, though, is that Power Through Second Wind is not guaranteed to be playable all the time. I need a lot of energy. Because... If I'm going for like the power through second wind, you can imagine a turn where I snake away, it gives me two, three costs. And all of a sudden I'm like, wait, I got to decide between power through or second wind. And before this was a guaranteed block for a thousand. Now it's like I'm taking a thousand damage, which is uh, unfortunate. So a car reward or actually, uh, you know, campfire. I mean, uh, maybe car reward is probably better because we're looking for power through, yeah. Again, upgrades. Upgrades would be like fuel no pain, I suppose. Fuel no pain is a decent upgrade, but uh, maybe I actually prefer car rewards, and I get healing out of that. I get potion chance out of that. I also, uh, you know, toxic egg. So, I think toxic is like wasting money. I don't know. I don't think so. I think colorless cards do uh, uh, do more. Colorless cards are a totally different ball game than uh, Nuri's. You know, Apotheosis, Panacea, uh, Master Strategy, Panache for play more cards for AOE. I mean, Toolbox has so many things involved. Colorless is totally different. You know, it's 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 a different breed of utility. Utility is really important. So already, I already mentioned power for turn one. I already mentioned card draw. I already mentioned like you know, upgrade everything with apotheosis, which is immediately valuable. So yeah, I mean it's just that alone is huge. So it looks like we're skipping another campfire, I guess, huh? Before we go gung ho on three leads, how are we doing against book of stabbing? How are we doing against slavers? Yeah, we should be fine. Hmm. Unless you guys want to upgrade Feel and Pain. Do you guys feel like it's necessary to upgrade Feel and Pain here? Hmm. 
Alright, uh, guys, one second. I was trying to show me something. Wait, wait. But that's for that's for catching. That's not for uh, whatever. Uh, so elites, uh, we we should be fine. Yeah. Our block game is not that great though. I mean, slavers. Mm, well, slavers we have really good perfected strike stuff. All right. So the the choice here is campfire or car choice. I, I I don't know why I'm thinking so hard. What do I want to upgrade? Nothing screaming at me. Oh, we should talk about the hallway fights, though. Hallway fights are pretty rough. How rough are they? I mean, I think we're way above the curve of the hallway fights. Avocado plus one, chosen plus one. How do we manage these things? We'll probably manage it just fine. Because I want to be going to the campfire just for, like... Feel no pain upgrade. Eh. Let's go. Trojan plus one. Panic button. Master strategy. Trip. Panic button. Great for barricade. Master strategy. Great for setting up. I love toolbox. I mean, I can't, I've been loving toolbox for a long time, and I will never stop loving it. I mean, I, I don't know. I don't know what my hand is, so if panic button may be the choice. Master strategy is also maybe the choice. What we really want to get is an energy relic in this next boss reward. Because it just dawned on me that second one power through is not guaranteed all the time. And that's really scary. It's really scary. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Guys, we're high rolled the crap out of this game. I've high rolled the crap out of this game. This is too much. Okay, I have a lot of options here. Bash, perfected. Playing Field of Pain is pretty useful, impervious. I mean, I can take my time here. I can play Field of Pain. Impervious, you give me, you give me... Oh! Oh, okay. See, I didn't expect that option. Oh! No, 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 don't do it, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. Don't do it. And we were worried about the hallway fights. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, I love it. Alright, three elites now. What do we get, relic wise? Potion belt, huge! Alright, Book of Stabbing is the hardest one for me. Book of Stabbing, I like Panic Button here. You see, Perfected Strike is the start. It's the Act 1 damage. And it's still relevant. The damage is still relevant. Snekowai brings it all home, and then now we do block, no reach, and again, second wind exhaust. I mean, it's gotten down to the point where Ironclad's becoming a science. And I think... I don't know. Ironclad's becoming down to a science here. I mean, it's like... Of course, you gotta manage... There's a lot of runs where, like, you're taking future-proof cards like this is... Is a lot scarier and a lot harder. And you also don't get offered all this crap with Moff at hand. I mean, this is just a super high roll. I mean, everything feels like a science when you have a high roll like this. I don't know. Also, let's not get carried away. Snickle White could still really mess me up. So I'm thinking about the heart, and I feel like... Second wind power through... Is one thing I'm worried about, but then I also realize I have no reason. I have so many outs, I mean...
So we just do barricade panic button now, yeah? Because why not? Oh, we didn't get to play fire breathing. Is it silly to play this now? I mean, that's, that's a lot of block. We don't get a block next turn, but we can focus on other things. That's a small concession to make, right? I didn't make. Did I, I didn't play an attack, did I? I played an attack. I played an attack to draw. I didn't think about Art of War. I'm, I'm playing too fast. My bad. But it's silly to think that we ever lose this fight. It's silly to think we ever lose this fight. It's silly to think that we ever lose this fight. We draw both our second wins though. And that's one way to lose the fight, is draw both second wins. That's one way to lose the fight. But the fight should be over soon. Oh my god, Entrench. Oh my god. <laughs> Dude, this is too much. Even if I try to lose, I think I won't be able to lose. One more, Moria, nice. And another perfected strike. Still relevant. And that could upgrade perfected strikes. Perfected strike is still relevant. Meta scaling. So we want to upgrade perfect strike now and then and go for two more leads, yeah? Panash! We talked about this. We talked about this. I want to keep the defend for the burning pact. Do I want to play evolve or not? Yes, I do. I can take damage here. <laughs> I can take damage here. I'm trying to take damage here, dude. I'm trying to take damage. <laughs> Jeez, man. <laughs> oh, max HP. Let's go. The middle is fine. Middle gives me wounds. The wounds are card draw. Wounds are uh, block. Wounds are damage. I want the wounds. The other guy gives me weaken. I don't want weaken. I want wounds. All right. Demon form is like a power that you can play with Snekawai and just set it, forget it. Someone mentioned weakness. Clothesline is my first source of weakness. Um... So awaken one is the issue here. At this point, awaken one is the point uh, problem. Where with, with the awaken one, we just what we do. All right, all right. Oh, uh, what powers do we want to play? We want to play barricade, feudal pain, and maybe evolve, maybe dark embrace. That's eight powers. Or sorry, three powers, four powers, eight strength. No problem. And then we uh, second wins, win the game, and then maybe find disarm from no reason. Is you know no problem. I don't have to worry about demon form in that fight. Other fight demon form is a mummified hand enabler, and also it's just like something you have in the back burner. It doesn't seem necessary though. Yeah, I'm looking for shockwave with weakness. I am. We have a lot of floors to find shockwave. I think it's just max HP here. But oh, demon form for the champ. We don't have the champ. I think it's max HP here. You think we need weaken for the 
for collector here. Weaken for the collector. I mean, I think we're generating so much block and doing so much damage, we don't need weaken for the collector. I mean, we could probably theoretically just get away with playing the, uh... We can get away with playing the, uh... The Demon Form. I mean, Mama Fat Hands, Nekawai, that's the perfect time to take Demon Form. It really is. So was that silly for ignoring it? Maybe. Will it bite me in the ass? I don't think so. But if there was ever a time for Demon Form, it's Nekawai, Gambling Ship, Mama Fat Hands. So, we could now uh, take a body slam now. We could. I could all max, I can also max HP. But having a one of body slam in a deck that sometimes blocks a lot with barricade is uh, not a bad idea. It's competing with max HP. And you know what we want? We want all the max HP. Because we're so, we're so strong, we set up, we... We do things, we do damage, we perfect the strikes, and nobody's just there to back us up, and then we just win the game. So, a max HP is very valuable to me. We don't have huge um, block generation, that's because we don't have uh, power through yet. But rest assured, no reason will give us some block generation, but that's not something that's guaranteed. In the deck, we currently need power through. We need power through in the deck, and then we could be like, okay, let's relax a little bit more, let's not get too crazy. Having one of our body stem is okay. It's, it's, you know, it's fair. All right, round two. Round two. Let's go. How many powers am I playing on this turn? All of them. <laughs> Sir, how many powers do you want to play? I want all of them. All the powers. That's right. Every single one. That's right. That's right. That's right. Thank you. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh, I have potion chase. I kind of want to do energy pot. I, I don't care about it. I don't care about it. Is that silly of me not to care about it? That's silly of me, huh? Potion. I like this one better. Whoa, corruption. Oh, my camera froze. Let me fix that. Camera froze. Corruption is interesting because it's like Corruption is good for the fast fights, the hallway fights, and it, and the long fights I can choose not to play it. I can choose not to play it, but for the camera for hallway fights, corruption is a booty smacker. Let's recall now. What do we upgrade? We probably recall. Full. Full mantle of powers. Sorry, full mantle of potions. Full deck full of powers. Two second wins that can get rid of corruption in the fights that I don't want to play it. Magnetism is a power. It's also a colorless card every turn. Uh, Metamorphosis adds random attacks. I 
I can theoretically corruption in this fight. Theoretically. I can theoretically corruption this fight and just perfect strike this win and body slam, right? No, yeah, we can theoretically just corruption right now. What's stopping me? I should have got rid of those strikes. If I was going to do Art of War like I did, I should have got rid of those strikes and played something better. Smoke time. Who's ready? Yo, Chester Shark with the Twitch Prime. Thank you so much. Welcome to the jump pool. Who's ready, boys? I am, sir. I am. Well, then watch and behold. Lethal in a mere matter of seconds. You did it. Not turn two. Jeremy, tell me you didn't do that. Turn two, baby. So impervious. That's a yes. Anybody want to make any arguments about anything else? TV stays for 100 bits. Impervious. Okay, potions. Sozu. Fusion Hammer. Well, Fusion Hammer is delicious. It's energy. I don't give a damn about upgrades. I have Toxic Egg. If this is not Fusion Hammer, I don't know what is. Before I click Fusion Hammer, before I do it, before I instant pick it, uh, anybody want to make any qu uh, things about potions? No, probably not, right? Nobody has any arguments here. And it's just Fusion Hammer all day. Now, you could argue that, like, I have been excess of energy because of my muffin hands. But I will say that, like, Snake Hawaii is not always going to be kind to me. So, Sacred Bark was not fine. The Sacred Bark is like, no, it was fine. It was, it, was, it was something to think about, but I feel like uh, energy is just the no brainer there. Uh, so, we can go here and get three elites and get some. Whole, uh, some events, which is Mind Bloom. So it looks like that's one, two, three, four events. That's five events, actually. Five events. That's Mind Bloom City. We have Omomori. Over here on the right, we have two elites, a lot of campfires we don't care about, and a mid shop. Then we go to the left, all the way on the left, all the elites. So with the maximum amount of elites we can do is three. We do all three elites. And look at this path. This path has three events. Then two elites, and then a mid shop, which is pretty decent because we have a lot of gold. Then a campfire event, another elite. So that might be better because that one has the same amount of events, but it has a shop in the middle. Yeah, this run's amazing. We just high rolled. Do I care about the shop? I'll go for Act 4 shop. I got probably just go for Act 4 shop. Is there any difference between these paths actually? These paths are actually the same. The difference is that there's a shop instead of an extra event. Yo, choo choo, Lord Mike, thanks for the high, uh, the, the 100 bits. The hype train just, just left the station. Max HP. Alright, guys, we'll bring this home. We're on 4 0. When we, if we win this, if we win this 4 0 uh, streak, go for 5 0. 
and we'll probably leave it there on Wednesday through Saturday. I want to grind hard. So if we leave at a 5-0 today, I'm going to go for a super hard grind on Wednesday through Saturday. I'm talking, we're mulling over decisions, and we're taking our time. This one's kind of a free win, but let's not get ahead of ourselves. I'm just saying all things are pointing towards victory. But you never know. Things could get crazy in the Spire. All right, is the event gonna be mind blowing? Let's take a look, guys. This nifty, beautiful. Look at this. Let's, let's, let's really take a look at. So there is a 63% chance to get an event, and there's only six events we could find right now. All right, somebody wants to do the math. 63%, and then six out of seven for that specific event. What's the math on that? Who cares? Let's go. Bits are money. Bits are money for streamers, and they, they're actually a better rate for streamers. Um, I think Twitch gets less of it. Yeah, so 100 bits is $1, exactly. Um, transform, what do you want to transform here? Transform a defend? Transform a defend? Toxic egg exists, and maybe we get power through what else will we transform we can transform bash but bash is actually quite useful because my i want to make sure okay the way this deck is going is that body slam is going to be the damage perfect strike is there but you know bash still helps i would say perfect strike for sure well yeah bits are like tipping subs are like basically supporting the community with uh monthly um like by subbing you're basically Showing yourself to be like a supporter of the community month through month. But, you know, bits is like a tip. Yeah, I suppose. So having subs is like consistent income, but also subs is like... By having more subs, you're using emotes. By using emotes, you're spreading the community. So like, let's say you use my emote calipers, for instance. Let's say you use this, which I recently made and I'm proud of it. You know, you're, you're basically showing pride, and you're like, that's what you sub for, for emotes, for, for community sake stuff. But it, yeah, it depends. Well, 500 bits is like, you know, it's basically like a straight donation. Okay. Let's transform defend. That's horrible. Take it out of my deck immediately. All right, we have a removal target. Do you guys want to try to get hand agreed here? Because why not try to get more money? Oh, you want to try with Mori? Okay. Shit, I got that too late, first off. Second off, I can already tell you that I had no curses to transform. So that, wasn't, that wouldn't have worked. That wouldn't have worked because you can't transform a center's bin. Because that would be a loop around and they want to avoid that. But the hand agreed, and then uh, this is not going to work out. I want to have the hand agreed, but uh, I also, I mean, I could take damage, it's fine. How much do I really want to get this hand agreed?
Yeah, it comes up, but... No, I don't have Dark Embrace in play. I don't have Dark Embrace in play. Um, but also... I don't have a lot of damage on the tail end of this fight. So, right now, I'm about to draw into no damage, and they're about to resummon. It's just too much of a pain in the ass to do hand of greed right now because I they're about yeah that's an unfortunate okay they got a potion uh, that's unfortunate okay wild strike let's talk about it sorry I saw it and I was about to talk about it like it's a strike meta scaling evolve uh you know we have we can probably fit wild strike but whatever I like max HP more it's also meta scaling. So do we care about Dexterity Putt? Dexterity Putt makes second uh, second wind do more. But what would I get rid of for it? These are all good potions. These are all good potions. I, I don't see Dexterity Putt here. Oh, uh, that's not an event. Wait, that's not an event. I got lied to. I got lied to. A feeling when you're using Pervious and you get three block out of it. It's the saddest thing in the world. Saddest thing in the world. We got Heavy Blade Trigger and Havoc. I mean, it's hard for me not to want to click max HP here. But Trigger Plus is maybe making an argument. What argument is Shrugia Plus making? Hemokinesis sucks ass. That's what it's making. Sorry for my, my very crude language, but you know, Shrugia can manage Hemokinesis. It can manage, you know, things that cost too much, like three cost defense. And, you know, it it does nine block plus all the other status of, uh, power effects. And then it's going against max HP, though. But Shrugia Plus is, is pretty decent as a targeted exhaust. Y'all really don't want it? Let me use the bathroom. I kind of like sugar, guys. Panacea Panic Blooded. On turn one, we, we look how many powers we got out. I need all this next turn. This would be great next turn. This should be all great next turn. Now we have a reason to go to campfires sometimes. Okay, max HP. Uh, I don't even have anything to remove for the most part. So this is like a pretty bad relic. Ghostly Armor makes me go wide, so I take Ghostly Armor because I have Corruption. 
So now I'm also going wide is what I'm thinking about. But why would I go wide when I can just like let no no reach kind of carry me? And instead of going wild ghostly armor, well, I mean our block game, our block game is okay. We can go wild corruption. I feel like with uh, Snake Y and Dark Embrace to back us up. So ghost armor is like, it's semi okay. I would say with corruption, Dark Embrace, Snake Y, yeah. But we really want to just power through. But if we're going wide, this means fine. Although max speed is really nice. I don't know. I feel like. Dark Coast Summer is a little bit positive. So, do you guys want Swift Pot versus Blood Pot? Because dr drawing cards to get our powers out is pretty important. Uh, I don't know. I think Draw Pot is pretty good. <laughs> this turn is illegal in five different states. This turn is illegal in five different states. That turn was insane. All perfect strike is zero cost. Oh boy. I do so much damage and do so many things like Okay. I could take battle trance to help draw into things sometimes. Even though it interferes with Dark Embrace, the whole point is that I wanted to draw into the power. So that's a pretty nice one of. And if I don't want to play it, I can second wind it. So, yes. As a one of, bad version is fine. Because think about it. Yeah, we can keep going both, sure. But Battle Trends is a one of. It's pretty hefty card draw in a world where, like, if Dark Embrace is not in play, well, then this helps to get it in play. Yeah, Battle Trends is fine. Uh, we got a shop. We didn't necessarily want that. Centennial Plus was also a card draw. We like that. Gonna remove Hemokinesis. So we can take Puzzle for card draw. Remove Hemokinesis. You guys want to Strike Dummy? Strike Dummy does some damage. But no, we don't need it. So what we can do is also get Fairy in the Bottle and just hold on to that. We don't need that extra life either. Let's just remove the Hemokinesis now. We have, so we have uh, Peace Pipe. Do we want to... Wait, don't we want to just peace pipe the hemokinesis actually? Instead of spending money on it? Nah, some corruption is bad. I need exhaust. I exhaust for card draw, I exhaust for, for block. I want things to exhaust. Um. So do we... Remove. We just save our money. Save our money here. And just remove the, the camp first. Left. Let's go left. We're lefties. Paper frog. I gotta get rid of it. No. This is a huge one. Wait. No. It's not. Alright, guys. I need you guys to... Alright, guys. I need you guys to determine. Alright? We have another relic coming right here. Do we think that the next relic is going to be better or worse than paper frog? Well, when you think about it... How much... How much do I actually put vulnerable on? All I have is Marbles and Bash. Marbles doesn't do anything in the uh, Act 4 Elite. Doesn't do anything in Zdonu Deca. My Bash, I barely play it. And if the next Relic is Tori or Tungsten or Incense or anything like that... Paper Frog is probably worse. I mean, it's great. It, it makes my damage go... It's significant, but I, don't, I actually don't have a Shockwave. I don't have that much Vulnerable. Sorry. You hate to see it. I suppose it's relevant here. I suppose it's relevant here. 
My first damage I've taken in a long time, friends. That would have been a nice super frog turn. Next to be Juzu. Yeah, that would suck ass. Upgraded Fuel No Pains. Oh my god. Upgraded Fuel No Pains. My game's freezing. Hello? Game's froze. Game froze. Where were we? Killing a giant head. Where were we, boys? I made Barricade more expensive. Whoops. My bad. Entrench. <laughs> oh, if I get entrenched in my actual deck, guys, it's over. All I gotta do is play Corruption now. Play Corruption, game's over. The boot? game do that to me why does the game give me the boots I can't complain guys my run is out of control right now my run is out of control right now all right this is now the moment of truth guys I gave a paper frog and I end up getting a pair all right so Campfire or removal? Well, I want to remove Hemokinesis, but we could do that at the last campfire. So this right now is going to be more max HP potentially, or more power through search, which is great. Um, the other hand, we can remove the other defense. We can remove the other defense. And remove Hemokinesis as well. And then we have a pretty streamlined deck, I would say. But, I don't know. Removing Defense doesn't feel that great. There's still skills for Corruption. still skills for Second Wind. The Transient. Dual wheel is interesting in, in this kind of deck. Dual wheel is perfected strike, dual wheel is uh, more powers. Dual wheel is great actually. It sucks I had to restart the stream. That's always a pain in the ass when you have to restart the stream. Uh, we're looking for barricade, right? Found it. Look at that, Perfect Strike Scaling. Look at that block. Look at that block. Let's go to town. Let's get out of this town, baby, we're on fire. I 
I can theoretically kill him. Should we try? Y'all want to kill him? What's going on, big boy? Huh? What's going on, big boy? Ah, there's no point in killing it. Part of we get a duplication pot. Ooh. So we talked about dual wield. Dual wield actually can dupe our powers. Um, so it's actually pretty decent. It's probably better than max HP. It's a little bit of win more, isn't it? Like if we dual wield Phil Pain, we'll kind of win more, aren't we? It also dual wield perfected strike, but like once we're online with our block, we don't care about dual wield perfected strike. And what I, but the biggest thing is that it can dual wield Phil No Pain. But like, eh. And that's... I mean... Do a wheel with Snekawai and Mumph at hand. I mean, it, it, it often has targets. It often has targets. Now, the other thing is... Do pot versus what? Do we even use the blood pot? What about the draw pot? Do pot wants to be replacing one of these. Which one? I don't really need dual wield, but yes, theoretically is great. Mainly for feel no pain. I'll do it just for the memes, because we're so strong we can mess around. Um, Swift pot versus blood pot. Which one are we discarding, boys? Which one are we discarding? Now, if I die because of dual wield, oh, that's gonna suck. Maybe we can get rid of Swift pot then? We're barely using blood pot though. I feel like I feel like we maybe we don't need power pot actually. I don't know. But blood pot like we're barely taking damage. I would say draw pot is probably more important for the heart to draw into the powers. I I probably want to get rid of blood pot. What is power pot? It's not good for awakening one. Oh wow, look, my first curse. Should I go for another event to use one more? Nah. My first source of weekend. There it is. That's all she wrote, guys. There it is. Look. That's all she wrote. And that's all she wrote. 12 block, baby. Boom. 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 Are right, we gonna sit back, and relax now? I mean, we couldn't sit back, and relax a long time ago, but it's now, especially so. Speed pot for the heart. Disarm is pretty decent. Disarm's unnecessary though.
Ah, uh, cancel. Fuck. That was not my intention there. That was not my intention there. I fucked that one up. I didn't want to get rid of a uh, pommel strike there. Uh, that should be fine though. Look at it. Look at it. Just freaking look at it, dude. Corruption was fine to play earlier. There it is. There it is. I could try corruption in, I guess. Nah, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't use a phone. I'm a little bit strange in that regard. But I don't use a phone. at all, yeah. Like at all. It has its drawbacks. It for sure has its drawbacks. Um, oh, my camera got messed up because I reset the thing, I guess. What's it called? What do we toke here? What do we toke? I use pigeons, yeah. Toking.
I can probably get rid of one Shrek at this point, right? I can probably get rid of one Shrek at this point. Let's be honest. Alright, we got a lot of money. What are we getting? Brimstone, GG. A shockwave. Shockwave. Fairy in the bottle. I mean... Oh, I, you know, I used to use the phone a lot. I used to use the phone a lot. And then my one of my, my phone broke, and I just haven't replaced it. There's been no phone for like a couple years now. Shockwave for sure. Guys, every time we have fairies, I never need them. Um, so Shockwave for sure, but then what else? Are we just removing all the strikes at this point? Because we don't really care about Perfected Strike. As much. Because body slam exists. So, Freddy Shrek. I, I, I like to make YouTube where it's like, guys, I have all five strikes in my deck. And my last YouTube video was like that. But, um, I mean, I could have had all five strikes and still won this game. But I, why not make my, my life a little bit easier, maybe? There you go. You want violence? I'll take violence for you. Hey, he wants violence, I'll take violence. I didn't ask for it, he did. I didn't ask for it, he did. This is where you want the butt putt. It's in this moment you want the butt putt. Oh. My. God. Oh. My. God. Oh. My. God. Becky. Look. At. My block. I threw away power pot one for the homies, I guess. One power pot for the homies. Becky, slow down. Give me a potion. Uh, turn two kill. Incredible. Beautiful turn. What does it do for us? Zoom is impervious again. Let's do it. It's good enough for me. Secret Unique versus Hand Grid Mind Boss. Okay, Secret Unique does what? Shockwave. Oh, do a wield. It does do a wield. It does do a wield. <laughs> it does do a wield, guys. Oh, man. GG. I haven't seen the witness yet. Do a wheel, fill on pain. Game over. Um, let's have dupe pot. We dupe pot the other fill on pain. GG. I have a puzzle proc, so how do we want to proc puzzle here? To get barricade. <laughs> I don't want to take too much beat of death here. <laughs> it's hilarious, man. 
We do want to get shock as well. I do want to get shock as well. Might as well do a will this one again, right? Or do we want to do a will of shockwave? What do you guys want to do? Do a will of shockwave or just do a will of feeling pain again? Plus, game kind of reminds me of Mist. Oh, old school Mist. I played that on computer with my brother back in the day. Gets hard, really hard fast. The way you stream and experience that. So. Ah, cool, man. I can try The Witness. Yeah, I think I actually, now that you mentioned that, I can. See, I thought you were talking about a movie. Like an old movie, but now that you mentioned that, yes, I, I think I do believe I've seen The Witness. Or, sorry, I've seen of it. I haven't played it, though. Um, a lot of unique corruption in this fight. So my question is, guys, do we want to dual wield this feeling pain now? Sorry, dual, do pot this, dual, uh, this feeling pain now? Or do we want to do pot maybe like something like Impervious or just hold on to it for a rainy day? Let's hold on to it for a rainy day here. We don't need Bash necessarily, but... Um, I don't even need fire breathing. Fire breathing is not necessary, right? Fire breathing gives me damage. Are we worried about damage? Do we have barricade for damage? Uh, we can do this. Now, do a shockwave now? I don't know. Five turns a week is probably good enough. Don't you guys think? This is not going more than five turns. I think we're going to get scaled up really quickly and then we're going to do body slam. But let's, let's, let's be mindful. Like, okay. I'm going to be vulnerable. I want to save Dup Dup Dupat here. Get the body slam out. I think the sharp is still useful. It saves him block. I can second win this stuff. I, I want to exhume maybe... I could exhume Shockwave, sure. I was going to exhume Impervious, but I can just double, double the Impervious here. It's fine. I don't want to get rid of both sec second wins, but this should be fine. Uh, we can dual wield the impervious if we want to dual dual do pot it, but what's the point? And it's supposed to give me 40 block. If I do the uh feel pain, it gives me a lot of block as well. Um one thing I don't have is entrench in the deck, so I gotta be careful. I'm always looking for look, 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 good new games. Always looking for good new games. I don't know if we do do pot here, guys. But what else would we do it on? Maybe entrench from the Nilries? Because we are going to be vulnerable. I'm not sure here. I mean, if I do this again, I haven't played into the bridge. If I do this again... <sighs> I get 15 block for every exhaust. I mean, how do you lose a 15 block every exhaust? You can't, right? You, you literally can't. Right? Let's just hold on to du the dupe part for the next game. Because why not? Gotta zoom again. I'm frail. I wanna look for Entrench. If you wanna second win this, if we second win this, the game's over. We need one more energy for second win. Can you believe it? One energy and I have second wind. Can you believe it? Second wind just, just wins the game, but we'll come back. Body slam. Look for Body Slam again. Anybody want to see Body Slam? Let me know. Who wants to see Body Slam? Who's down for Body Slam here? Who tried? We tried. Fun game. 
Wish it was harder. It was a free win. That was a fun win, though. Free the berry. Free the dupe putt. Free the drop putt. No potions needed. The deck was way too strong. Relic's way too strong. Told you. We, we, as soon as we got those things online, I was like, well, let's just let's steamroll it. Yeah, thank you so much for the 300 bits. Thank you, man. Solid. Next one. I'm on a massive win streak on the Ironclad. I want to keep it going. 